from a very dark shade of brown to lighter shade of browns and so on, this kind of gradient is not something you'll see even in some mid-range skill figures that cost more than this figure. <coughs> Hotobukiya, for example. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Xkurane Block and Photography. I'm Steven. Today I will be reviewing a figure which I could describe as something of an unexpected purchase or a spontaneous purchase. The backstory for this figure right here is that I wasn't planning on buying this thing at all. I was in a local figure store browsing some figures, planning to pick up a pop-up red figure, for example, especially Saber Altar. However, what caught my eye on the shelf was this figure right here because she was priced very similarly to pop-up red figures. But based on the first impression I got of this figure, from outside the box, I could kind of tell the craftsmanship and the detail is at a different level. It is way better. That was enough to pick my interest and I ended up buying her. This is a non-skill figure of Amiya from Art Knights and she is made by a figure company called Rebos. A relatively new figure company, a Chinese company, and you might not have heard of this name before we boast unless you collect Art Knights or a very select few other merchandisers. The box design of this figure is very similar to pop-up red figures actually. And one thing that is interesting to me is that this figure happens to fall under the we boast Rise Up series of figures. Rise Up Sealy as it was printed over here. So Good Smile Company calls their affordable figures pop up and Rebos is calling theirs rise up. Is this a coincidence? I have no idea but this is certainly amusing to me at least. And all of the wordings at the back of the box they are in Chinese instead of Japanese. And yeah, a pair of shiny hologram stickers just to make sure you bought the real thing, the genuine product. All in all, a pretty attractive box and packaging. In terms of size and scale, this figure is about the same as pop-up red figures. 17cm tall head height including the base, not including her ears. That is about 1x10 scale based on my estimates. But officially, this figure is non-scale, just like pop-up red figures. However, putting aside the scale and size, in every other aspect you can think of, from the sculpt, to the paint job and detailing, and the base Rebos does it better than Good Smile in every single aspect. So in terms of the sculpt, nothing wrong at all over here, very well refined for a figure under 45 US dollars. I can't find anything wrong with it, maybe if I try my very best to find some faults with the figure. There is a very minor irregularity on her ponytail if you paid attention, but this is just nitpicking at this point. The most obvious advantage and strong point of this figure is the paint work. Just look at her hair and her ears, you see gradient and detailing. From a very dark shade of brown to lighter shade of browns and so on, this kind of gradient is not something you'll see, even in some mid-range skill figures that cost more than this figure. <coughs> Hotobukiya, for example. <laughs> I tried my best to find faults with the paintwork of this figure. I could barely find any at all. If I had to really try, there is a small blemish on the right side of a blouse over here, but not something you notice unless you really pay attention. So this is really me trying my best not to give a figure a full score in terms of the paint work. It is very difficult for me to give full marks for anything in general. And then we move on to the base over here. This is where this figure wins more points against pop-up red figures. 
you get a fairly detailed marble textured base. And this base over here is a solid chunk of plastic. It is not hollow like most figures out there. When you take a look at the bottom, as you can see, it is a solid piece of plastic and relatively heavy as well. This is a very pleasant surprise to me because some scale figures out there that cost way more than this one, the base is still hollow at the bottom, not this one over here. My only concern with this figure is how fragile the foot packs look, but I suppose you can't have everything. But nevertheless, this is still an amazing value for 45 US dollars or so. Unless you don't like Art Knights, there is very few reasons not to buy this figure right here. We both as an upcoming and relatively new figure company has given me a very positive first impression with this figure over here. So that is all about the review of this figure of Amiya for today. What do you think? Please do let me know down in the comments below. And feel free to ask any questions if you do have any. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you guys again very soon. Goodbye.